What's up, planty people? It's Sydney, and welcome to Peaceful Planting, where we talk about all things house plants. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you like my content, feel free to subscribe below and hit that notify bell if you want to receive notifications of any new content that I put out there. If you are already a subscriber, I love you. You're amazing. Thank you for supporting my channel. We are sitting on my floor today to clean some of the leaves on my plants and do a tag that Pam from Pam's Pretty Plants came up with. It is called the Spring Plant Tuber Tag. I think that's right. I feel like I finally got it right. So let's get started. If you watched my last video, you know that me not having a Monstera Deliciosa in my collection really bothered me. So I went out and just bought one. I bit the bullet and I just bought one. And I love this plant. I understand why everyone is so obsessed with this plant. I really do. Yay, I have a Monstera Deliciosa. Head test, Kaylee Ellen. Just hopping on the bandwagon with the head test. I really am, everyone does it now. Good for you, Kaylee Ellen, for coming up with something like that. Everyone does it. Okay, so I am going to clean the leaves on this beauty and answer some questions that Pam created. I feel like we should start with number one. I was thinking about going backwards, 10 to one. Let's just start with one. Have you started spring cleaning repotting yet? I have not really started it. I did spend three hours deep cleaning my house this past Sunday, but I usually do a deep clean of my house once a month and I clean it every single Sunday no matter what. But as far as deep cleans, that happens once a month for me. So I did deep clean it as I usually do. I don't plan on doing anything different for spring. It has not warmed up outside enough for me to like go out there, clean the patio and all of that. So I will wait until it gets a little bit warmer. It is, right now I think it's like 55, which is not bad, but it's not exactly the weather I want to be out in. I wanna be out there with the sun shining and 70 degrees. As far as the repotting, we all know I repot my plants as soon as I bring them home. So as far as repotting, I am not scared to repot in winter time. I have so many grow lights that my plants can't even tell it's freaking winter time anyway. So I just continue repotting as I would normally. But I have not started repotting the plants that need to be repotted. Like the ones that have outgrown their pots, no. I haven't started that. I'm planning on starting in April. I am going to be graduating in May technically, but like all of my classes are done in April, which is great. So I will be spending a couple of days just doing stuff around my house and relaxing. Repotting is on my list of to-do things when I graduate. I can't tell y'all how much time school is taking up. I cannot wait to graduate, let's just say that. Your girl is graduating in two months. I am excited, but I'm also nervous. So these questions are not about my graduation though, so let's actually answer the questions. Number two, do you stop fertilizing over winter? If so, have you started fertilizing again? I typically do the weekly weekly, which means a week amount on a weekly basis. Everyone always says weekly weekly, but nobody ever really knows what it means. I feel like I didn't at least. So that's what that means is a, a small amount, less than what is recommended on a weekly basis, once a week, right? So that's what I typically do. It has gotten to the point where I do it every other week. Like I said earlier in the video, my plants have so many grow lights that they do not know it's winter time. They can't tell a thing, to be honest with you. I have no problems with the growth on my plants, thankfully. So that is that. As long as I see growth on my plants, I continue fertilizing, but I do a weekly amount. A week, weekly amount. Number three, what, if any, plants did you lose this winter? Honestly, I do not think I lost a plant this winter. What I will say is that I received a box in the mail that had my plant, which looked like crap, not because of the cold, maybe because of the post office a little bit, but the lady did not package the plant correctly at all. So she tried to be all nice and include a little Tradescantia or a wandering dude. When I opened it, it was so dry and crusty that I couldn't even tell what the plant looked like. I couldn't even tell what it was. I had to ask her and I was assuming it was a Tradescantia, but you couldn't tell it had like one small little shriveled up leaf. I wish I was doing YouTube at this time because I would have recorded that. It was ridiculous. It's like 
if you want to be nice, send me an actual cutting. Don't send me some dried up little thing. And it only took two days to get to me. So it was clearly a shipping problem. She didn't even insulate. She didn't do anything. She didn't protect the leaves of the plant. It was broken in half, whatever. I'm not going to harp on this situation because the plant is doing great. So I am grateful for that. That answers that question. I did lose the cutting, cutting. Tratoscantia cutting. It wasn't because of winter time, I don't think. I just think the lady sucks at packaging plants or just didn't care that much, to be honest with you. So, okay, number four. Did you order plants in the mail over winter? If so, how'd they do? I ordered a ridiculous amount of plants in the mail over this winter. They all did really well. I did not lose any. I had some cold damage on some of the plants and there's really not much you can do to prevent that but they are all doing very well. So I really didn't have any issues receiving or shipping plants. I shipped my friend part of my ZZ Raven and I also shipped Red from Plantastica some Adansonii cutting. I don't think there was any issues. I haven't heard anything and I know Red from Plantastica said hers came in the mail great. So no problems receiving or shipping plants. None of the plants died that I got, so I know there was some cold damage, but all the new leaves are looking great and they are beautiful. That's the key thing, right? That they did not die and they are recovering. That's what I really care about. Gosh, these leaves on this Monstera are huge. You have to be really careful with the new leaves because they haven't hardened yet, so they're really floppy. Okay, number five. What are the next plant or plant related purchases on your wish list and will you get them this spring? Let's start with the plant. The only plant that I could see myself really getting is possibly a variegated string of hearts. I really do want one of those. It's been on my wish list and it's really the only one on my wish list that I will probably be able to afford this spring. If you've watched my videos, you know that I am about to graduate from grad school and it's not cheap and you definitely don't get paid well while you're in grad school because you don't have time to work really. <laughs> so that's probably the only plant I'll be able to afford until I get my celebratory plant when I get a job. I'm going to go all out y'all, especially before I get my student loan bills. I can't think about that right now. Anyway, thanks Pam for bringing up the things that I can't buy. I'm just kidding. That's like a very common question. What plant do you want? I don't know. I want a lot of plants. I can't afford a lot of plants. We will have our day, people. We will have our day to buy all of the crazy expensive plants for cheap. It might be in a year or two, but we'll have our day. I guarantee it. Okay, question six. Did you have any life-saving tricks or tools that helped your plants survive after winter? I've already mentioned this, but my grow lights. My grow lights have tricked my plants to think that it is just spring and summer 24 seven, which is not bad. I know a lot of people are probably wondering, well, isn't that bad for your plant? Don't they need a rest time? They do not. As long as they're getting the light they need, they don't have a problem growing and they grow because they're getting the light. It doesn't stress them out. Trust me, I looked it up because I worry about my plants. <laughs> All right, number seven. Do you put your plants outside for the summer and will you do that this year? No, I don't put my plants out there for the summer. If you watched my last video, you know that my Alocasia Amazonica is more than likely going to live its life outside. So that's probably the only plant. I don't put my plants outside for the summer is the answer to that. And I'm not sure that I ever will because I am way too scared of pests. Outdoor pests. Coming inside. Oh, that sounds horrible and it freaks me out. Number eight, did you have any pest issues over winter? If so, did you conquer them? I did have an issue with mealybugs on my Medanilla. It had mealybugs. Yup, good old mealies. Mealybugs drive me freaking crazy. They're a pain to get rid of, like they hide just in the deepest crevices of your plant. So I cleaned it off with water and soap, washed it off in the shower, then I sprayed alcohol and water on it, and then I took all the soil off of the roots, I washed off the roots, I washed the pot very thoroughly in burning hot water, and I repotted it and I sprayed water with diatomaceous earth on it 
that is how I get rid of my mealy bugs. I hope it does the trick. I usually redo that process, except for the repotting part. I usually redo the process in a couple of weeks. From what I understand, mealy bugs can hide out for three weeks until they hatch their little nasty selves out of their larva, whatever. Ugh. Mealy bugs are disgusting. I know you might be thinking to yourself right now, Sydney, you have already washed all of the leaves on this monstera. I am washing it very good because I don't trust what is in the nurseries? Anyway, none of my other plants are infected that I know of. Jeez, I really hope not. Fingers crossed. Can't even cross my fingers right now because they're so soapy. Okay, number nine. Show one plant that thrived all winter. Let me go get it. Hold on. Let me go. All right, I am back with the plant that thrived all winter. It was pretty much a no-brainer. This is a philodendron radiatum. So all of this top part was not here. It had three leaves when I got it. It now has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this beautiful baby, so eight. So throughout the winter, it has grown five leaves. This is definitely the plant that did the best over the winter time. I did not see a delay in growth whatsoever, and maybe it grows a lot because I favor it and I baby it. I don't know, who's to say, but this plant is still just, amazing i love this plant let's move on shall we question 10 which is our last question show one plant that you're most excited to see spring growth on okay let me go get it i am very excited to see this baby grow this is my philodendron squamiferum i love this plant i think the leaf shape is beautiful i think the fuzzy petioles well hairy really problem is is that i received this plant knowing that it wasn't doing well it was the only way i could find it for pretty affordable and it came from a reputable seller he just told me there's some leaf damage so these leaves are not doing too well but there are two new growth points and i cannot wait to watch it just shoot out new growth like crazy during the springtime all right friends i am officially done with pam's spring plant tuber tag a mouthful all of the tags are like mouthfuls so anyway i am officially done we are done cleaning the leaves on my beautiful new monstera deliciosa we are done friends that's all i have for you i look forward to seeing you in my next video bye if you are already what's up planty plant no that's not right okay oh let me put my hair back so it doesn't get into the plants and all that. Speaking of getting into the plants, I just knocked over a plant with my freaking hair. It's just some dirt, soil, whatever you want to call it. Make sure it's still recording. It's still recording. Great. Oh my gosh, where are the questions? I can't find them. Oh, I have the I have the name of the tag right here. Spring plant tuber tag. So I did get it right. Awesome. I don't have to refilm that. Refilming sucks. I get distracted easily. All right, Pam, what you got for me? Not only am I going crazy, but I am also going blind. Oh, my hair always tickles me and I feel like it's a bug on me. Do you, oh my God. Do you put your plants out? Number seven, <laughs> let's try this again. There's a huge jet going by. There was a jet going by, and now there is a big, huge truck going by. Okay, I think he's gone. Those trucks hate me. Oh, look, he's coming back around. There he is, he's coming back around. How lovely. I love my neighbors, if you can't tell. So, what was the question? What was I talking about? 